torsion. In this one chapter, only one formula work T by J equal to tau by R. So when I write capital R, it means that it is a maximum shear stress multiplied by G theta divided by L and shear stress at any radius small r is given as tau by r. So when you write capital R, it must be tau max. So if we compare two terms of tau, then we have tau is equals to tau max multiplied by small r divided by capital R. It indicates that the shear stress is linearly proportional with respect to r. So suppose we have a solid section here at radius r equal to zero, we have zero shear stress and the shear stress increases linearly from inner fiber to outer fiber and we have maximum shear stress here on the outer fiber. Similarly, we can have a formula for tau is equal to T multiplied by capital R. When I write capital R, you have to always take tau max. That is default divided by J. Now this can be written as T divided by J by R and J by R is called as section polar modulus. So we have T divided by ZP. And if you simplify this term for solid shaft, you will get 16 T divided by pi d cube. This relation is valid for solid shaft. Whereas for hollow shaft, we have 16 T divided by pi d o cube, outer diameter of shaft cube into 1 minus k to the power 4, where k is a ratio of inner diameter to outer diameter. That is k is d i by d o. From the first equation, we can obtain theta here. So we have theta equals to T L divided by J G. And then we can write T divided by theta is same as K T called as torsional stiffness and value of kt is gj by l. So let's consider that we have a three shaft in a series. Now similar to the pipe flow concept, we can apply the same concept in the shaft also. So whenever we have a shaft in series, the total deformation theta is a sum of individual that is theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3. If it is subjected to torque t, in that case the torque for all the members is same. That is T1 is same as T2 is same as T3 is same as T. And if we have the shaft in parallel, so this one is a solid shaft and over this we have a hollow shaft. So this portion represents the hollow shaft, hollow shaft and this one is solid shaft. So in case of parallel shaft, your theta1 is same as theta2 and total torque is divided between two shaft. So total torque equal to T1 plus T2. And you can find out this value of theta1 and theta2 using equation TL divided by G1 J1 plus G2 J2 is same as T1 L1 by G1 J1 is same as T2 L2 by G2 J2. So we can have number of equations. So we can very comfortably solve this problem. If the solid shaft diameter is DI and the hollow shaft outer diameter is DO and the inner diameter is same as DI, then we can obtain J1 as pi by 32 DI to the power 4 and for hollow shaft, we have pi by 32 du to the power 4 minus di to the power 4. Now let's consider the case of pure shear and pure bending. For this purpose, let a model of a shaft supported at two bearing and we have a gear at the center is meshed with another gear on another shaft. The weight of gear will act vertically downward, will produce the bending moment. And since the power is transmitted, we have torsion also. So this is a case of pure bending and pure shear. So in this case, the state of stress and we have sigma x is same as sigma b is 32 m by pi d cube. And we have a shear stress tau xy is 16 times t by pi d cube. And there is no normal stress along the y direction. So sigma y equal to zero. So we can find out tau max is given as under root of sigma x plus sigma y by two whole square plus tau xy square. Tau max we can replace as 16 time t equivalent divided by pi d cube is equal to sigma x we have to put 32, 32 divided by 2 is 16, sigma y is 0. So in that case the first term will be 16 m by pi d cube whole square plus 16 times t pi d cube whole square. So your pi d cube will get cancelled, 16 will get cancelled. So we have equivalent torque is equal to under root of m square plus t square. So we can whenever we are given the moment and torsion, then you can find out equivalent torque and directly find out tau max. It's a quick and shortcut method. I use the same technique to find out sigma max. So in that case, we'll get bending moment equivalent is one by two m plus t e 
this is shortcut formula again using this me we can find out maximum normal stress using the same formula for sigma b so if tau max if you are using msst we are tau max is less than equals to sys ill strength in shear divided by factor of safety and if you are using mpst maximum principal stress theory then this value is less than syt divided by factor of safety this is mpst and this is msst